Hello viewers, Miss Cal here. Uh, testing out a new camera. So if there's any problems with it, let me know how it comes across. Uh, sound is always an issue on these cheap cameras. Now, I'm going back. Sometimes you've got to go back to go forward. This is... Uh, a few years back I did some electron extraction experiments playing around with... The, Stanley Myers idea of extracting electrons um, I know I did mine a little bit different he was doing it on the gas apparently but this is an attempt to do it on the water uh, this is distilled water so I know there's not a lot of gas there but it is making gas all the same I have uh, You can see the center electrode is white. I have doped it with titanium dioxide. I put a bit of acid in there and let it run for a few uh, about two days, I think, and let the uh, the titanium bond to the inner rod uh, electrode. And up the top here, I've got that's the battery casing out of a lantern battery, uh, the 6 volt lantern batteries that's a zinc electrode uh, I had this strange thing happen and that's why I've gone back to this setup although this time it's much bigger um, I'm taking a reading not pulling any current or anything just taking a voltage reading from that electrode and the positive terminal excuse the bright light on the battery um, and between there the fuck happened then? Huh, screen went blank excuse the crunch and between the electron extraction electrode and positive on the battery there is about 8.1 volts there's a bit less than 12 going in and this is distilled water as I've already mentioned there is no electrolyte in there there is uh, basically an open circuit between the zinc electrode on the top there and what's going on down the bottom here uh, the strange event that I had happen only happened twice and when I tidied up the um, connections it never happened again now, I'll just describe to you what happened uh, while I was watching and it was very much like this just little very very small bubbles and a zinc electrode on the top um, the meter went over voltage over 100 volts DC and yeah it topped out at 100 volts and went off scale um, so that's what I'm trying to recreate uh, there's no PWM feeding this at the moment I'm, I was using a battery drill trigger at the time which is a very uh, simple PWM um, just a, a little power MOSFET and a slider a resistance and I think it just sets a self resonance sort of like a jewel thief or something I'm not sure exactly how it works but because um, there's not many parts in there when you pull apart a drill trigger so yeah that's where I'm at um, comments welcome any ideas as to how to create a poor connection but like physically a proper connection to the to the input there I was thinking maybe using um, uh, a neon and a diode to create what you know would essentially be uh, a spark gap or a, or a yeah an event where I can pour electrons in here and there's nothing coming back the other way so yeah that's what I'm up to thanks for watching um, stay posted I'm expecting something weird to happen on this one cheers guys see ya